Hello and welcome to this BTEC bite-sized video on the Tech Award in Music Practice. My name's Sean Chambers and I'm the Chief Examiner for this qualification. In this video, we will be exploring the Pearson Set Assignment, the PSA, for Component 1. So the Pearson Set Assignment, the PSA, must be used by centres for all assessments for Component 1. It is no longer possible to use any authorised assignment briefs or centre devised assignment briefs for the assessment of this component. Pearson will set a different assignment for each moderation window, so January and June, and it is important that centres use the correct Pearson set assignment for the moderation window that the learners are being assessed in. The PSA is marked internally, uh, but a sample of those marks are moderated by Pearson to ensure that the centre marking is in line with national standards. For component one, learners are given 12 hours to complete the PSA following a period of teaching and learning. The component is allocated 36 guided learning hours, so learners should have around 24 uh, guided learning hours to cover the unit content to develop the knowledge and skills required to tackle the PSA in the final 12 hours of the component. So undertaking a PSA may be a different experience uh, for teachers and learners who have been used to working with uh, authorised assignment briefs and centre devised assignments. So on the first page of the PSA, we get some instructions that you should take note of. Uh, firstly, learners should be working independently when they're working on the PSA and all work that they produce for assessment should be produced by them and them alone. In terms of teacher support, they can ask you about the requirements of the task and the evidence that they need to generate and the resources that they might need. But, they, but you as a teacher cannot give them any feedback on how to improve their work or guide them to any solutions. So they must work independently. And group compositions are not allowed. This is because learners should be working independently and if they undertake a group composition it is often very difficult to understand which learner has contributed what. Uh, group performances are allowable as it is possible to judge the learner's performance ability within the group situation but that is not the case with group compositions where it is not possible to see what a learner has contributed to the piece overall. So once you have accessed the relevant series PSA from the Pearson website and read the instructions, the next thing you will come to is the vocational context. And this on the screen is the vocational context from the PSA that was set in January 2023. And you can see here that learners are being asked by a, a local radio station um, to create some material to be used in a broadcast. Uh, the radio station would like the learners to explore four different musical styles and then go on to create some uh, ideas for music products that are inspired by the theme of travelling. And you will notice the theme of travelling is in bold and that aspect will change from series to series, uh, as will the uh, the company or the organisation, such as the, the local radio station, that are requesting uh, the music and uh, research to be generated in response to. In the previous bite sized video, where we had an overview of component one, we looked at the fact that learners would be set two tasks. The first task, task one, is where they need to generate a styles portfolio where they explain the compositional and sonic features of four chosen musical styles. On the PSA, the theme, for example, in, in, in the PSA we just looked at, of travelling only really relates to task two. And there's no requirement for that theme to be referenced in task, in, in task one. So on task one, learners can select their four 
uh, chosen musical styles, ensuring that only two come from the area of popular music. But there's no need for them to cover the theme of traveling or whatever the set theme is within task one. That theme really comes into play in task two. So if we look at how learning outcome B or task two is assessed, uh, we will note that learners have been asked to produce uh, and create three separate musical ideas for music products. And as it says there, in response to a set brief. So this is where that theme of traveling, for example, comes into play. The music products that learners uh, develop must be uh, in response to that set brief. Learners cannot just ignore that and perform or, or compose anything they like, otherwise they will become disadvantaged. Um, also, in addition to the, the three products they produce, they also need to produce a commentary. Um, and in that commentary, that would be a good place for the learners to explain how they had interpreted the set brief, uh, in case it wasn't necessarily obvious from listening to the music products. On the previous slide, I mentioned how learners could possibly become disadvantaged if they choose to ignore the set theme. And that is because on two of the mark grids um, for task two, learning outcome B, there is specific reference made to responding to the brief. And you can read uh, on the screen there where it's been highlighted that learners need to be applying their techniques and processes uh, when creating their products in response to the brief. So if learners choose to completely ignore it, then they're going to have trouble scoring well on this particular grid. There are other aspects to the brief apart from just the theme, for example, traveling, for example, the length of the pieces. We're asking for uh, the, the, the products to be lasting for 30 to 60 seconds. We're also asking for three different products, not just three performances or three original songs. So there are other aspects to the brief as well, but the key aspect is that theme, for example, traveling, and that should be driving the type types of products that the learners are developing. We also see a mention of the brief on mark grid B3, where once again, we're looking for the ideas that are developed uh, are based on the techniques and resources in response to the brief. So once again, if learners choose to, to ignore the brief and create pieces uh, of music that do not reference the theme or they choose to create three performances or things are under length or over length then that's where the portfolio for task two could be compromised because they are not responding uh, to the brief so what might a response to the brief look like in practice in january 2023 the set theme was traveling. So learners were asked to produce and create uh, musical ideas for products in response to that theme. So music for media, some learners approached that by taking a film clip uh, that covered the concept of traveling. So maybe an, an aeroplane traveling or a, a boat traveling. Uh, and a film clip that depicted that, and they created music to go along with that visual image. Others created original compositions and songs uh, where lyrics were referring to, to traveling and, and moving on and moving around. Performances uh, demonstrated traveling by sometimes having traveling reference within the lyrics, but also pieces of music that travel through different moods and emotions and speeds and dynamics uh, and those types of things. Uh, for example, a piece like Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, which has lots of different styles of music. And one particular learner decided to explore that song as a way of traveling through different uh, moods. 
DAW projects and recordings as well can follow a similar suit where the material being recorded or remixed or arranged has a link to travelling via its lyrics or its theme or indeed by how the musical elements are being used to create the concept and the idea of travelling. In June 2023, the theme set in the PSA was Discovery. And on the screen, you can see some examples from the commentaries that learners produce for task two, where they had explained how they had interpreted the theme of discovery. So the first uh, box there uh, describes how a learner have discovered particular um, if effects uh, such as EQ uh, when creating a hip hop piece. Um, the next box down talks about a learner who discovered extended chords such as major sevenths and minor ninths and then the third box speaks about a song that was created about self-discovery and remembering who you used to be compared with who you are now so that was how the the theme of discovery was interpreted in the lyrics so learners can be as creative uh, as they like with this theme it is not intended to be a straitjacket for them it's in, intended to be a starting point for them taking the the musical products in a creative direction so to summarize with some tips of approaching the psa the music products created in task two can be based on the styles covered in task one learners are going to spend some time looking at specific music styles and understanding how features and elements are used within those styles so it would be useful for learners if that when creating their products that they did them in in the styles that they'd looked at for task one they don't have to but as they have learned about about the musical features and styles it would be useful for them to to demonstrate and apply that knowledge to the creation of their music products in task two the commentary that learners produce for task two should explain how they use the theme to inspire their products that would be the place where they would tell uh, you how the theme of discovery or traveling had been creatively uh, interpreted within the three products and the theme can be interpreted in a range of ways and learners should be encouraged to think creatively about how they use the theme. Thank you for listening to this session, which is part of the BTEC Bite Size Tech Award series.